So let's start by creating a um, type that holds the information we need based on the endpoint for getting a specific employee. And we'll just choose all the fields for now. Then we'll create a new array data provider of employees. So this would be of type array data provider. And um, the type over here is the type we created with the ID as the key out of it. All right, so now we have the data. Now we can go over and populate the data. So to do that, we'll have an event on the page. When we enter the page, we're going to create an event for fetch employees. And over here, we'll call the REST service to get all the employees. And then we'll assign the results from this into our ADP. So our ADP has a data array, and we're going to pick up the items and put it into the data. All right, so now we have everything we need in terms of the backend. Now let's go over and build the UI. So what we're going to use is a component called a film strip. I'll put it on the page. Uh, inside the film strip, we're going to use a uh, for each component. And the for each component is expecting an array to execute over. So we have an array inside the employee. So that would give us this. The next thing we want to do is we want to populate some data in here. So inside the for each, we're going to have okay, a template. You can see it over here. And inside it, we're going to put information. So let's use a form panel inside here, and then just bring in uh, several UI components. So we can bring in, for example, um, an avatar, show the image, and then um, All right, so the input text for this one, we're going to go over to our um, data and pick up the name. Okay. And then the avatar for this one, sorry, the avatar over here, we're going to set the data for this one to be the picture that we have like that. And so now we have picture and we can probably remove this label. We don't need it. And in the input text, we also don't need this text over here. All right, so now we have this array. Now, when, so our film strip has a component called a uh, max item per page. We're going to set it to two, so we'll show two items at a time. But you can see it's not actually reflecting right now because the data is fetched only after the component is rendered. So we need to refresh the component after we fetch the data. So let's give an ID to our component. We'll call it filmstrip1, fs1. And then we'll go back to the action chain we defined where we fetch the data. And after we fetch the data, we're going to invoke the component method, okay, on fs1. And the method is a refresh. All right, so now let's go back into our UI. Okay, and we can see an item. And when we click, well, let's go to live mode. When we click next, we'll go to the next item. Okay, I'm actually showing one because of the size over here. So let's switch it to one, it would be more appropriate.